On this video we're making our way from Hat Creek Historic Ranch and we're gonna get all the way to Prince Rupert. So on this route we were able to stop by a railroad museum and then we did take a stop at a memorial for the Highway of Tears and then it started raining the rest of the way to Prince Rupert. Okay roll that intro and let's get into the video. <laughs> Now it's time to get on Highway 97 North, and north we go. Welcome to 70 Mile House. Welcome to 100 Mile House, British Columbia. So here we are at 100 Mile House, British Columbia, and right behind us is the world's largest pair of cross-country skis. Thanks, Rob, for telling us these were here. <laughs> and Craig just met a fan, too. <laughs> yeah, somebody recognized us on the trip, so he came over to say hello. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Welcome to 150 Mile House. Welcome to Bill's Puddle. I mean, Williams Lake. Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. We're just passing through Quinell, BC. So yesterday we rode up the Caribou Gold Rush Trail. We ended up in the top of the Gold Rush area back in the 1860s in an area called Quinell, BC. Our original plan was to get to Barkerville because we wanted to show off Barkerville, which was the heart of the Caribou Gold Rush. But we discovered when we were at the ranch that Barkerville is not open till June 4th. All the attractions in the museum. Usually it's open before the May long weekend, so we thought we'd be good, but it's opening late this year. So last night we decided to camp out at Wally World so we can get an early start today. Off to Prince George and then we'll see where we end up tonight. Okay, let's go see what's in Prince George. We're now in Prince George and we're at the crossroads where Highway 97 meets Highway 16, the Yellowhead Highway. So we're going to take a little bit of a break here in Prince George. I hear that there's a railway museum here. This kind of looks like it, so I think we'll check it out. Railway and Forestry Museum. Now let's go see some of these old trains. Here's a snow blade for clearing the railways. Oh, look who's up in the top. <laughs> Let's go see what it's like to be inside of one of these snow clearing machines. Hi. <laughs> well, it's pretty rustic. Here's the old dining car. Let's go see what it looks like. There's no sign on this one, but we'll have to guess what year this might have been. By the looks of the decor, it looks like 1970s to me. Look at this old snow plow. Pacific Great Eastern Railway is made out of wood. And even the front blades has got steel up front, but it's still wood on the top. So the sign says it's a 6001 Russell Plow, built in 1903 and used from Squamish to Lillooet. So here's a couple pictures of this plow when it was clearing snow. And 
this was around 1939. This one is in the 1920s. And here's this plow when it derailed, when it hit a rock slide underneath the snow. And this was in 1917. Okay, I'm gonna go get on the train, right? Yeah, we're here at the Cottonwood Railway. Lucinda's gonna go get on the train. Up here, we saw one of Dad's oldest favorite books. He gave one to all the kids. Yeah, he gave one to all the kids and all the grandkids. Well, good morning again. We stayed overnight here at Smithers, BC, on Highway 16 West, the Yellowhead West. So today we're going to make it all the way to Prince Rupert, but there's rain in the forecast, so it might be a little bit of liquid sunshine again. What we're looking for today is Highway 16 is called the Highway of Tears. And we're going to find a memorial totem that was put in place for it. And I'll tell you a little bit of the Highway of Tears once we get there. So let's enjoy the road and hopefully it's not too wet. <laughs> There's the first bear I've seen that hasn't run away. Well, now it's running away. So that's bear number three on this trip. So we're on the west side of Terrace. There's a totem there, but that's not the one we're looking for. The one they put as a memorial that was red. Oh, this looks like it could be it right here. Well, we'll turn around and take a look at it. So here's the totem pole. and. I'm going to stop for a minute so we can pay our respects, but I'm going to tell you what we do know about this totem pole. We've been traveling on this beautiful highway for the last two days. Highway 16, the Yellowhead Highway, going west from Prince George. And we're now in Terrace. But this highway also has a little bit of a darker side too. It's also known as the Highway of Tears. And it's got a history about it that uh, it's probably best that I don't talk about because the best information you get from it is from a documentary. And I'm gonna put the link in the description for that documentary because it really tells a great story about what all this means. But we're now here at the totem and this was installed here as a memorial for the Highway of Tears. So now I'm going to show you the totem pole and Lucinda's going to tell you what we know about it. So this totem was created by a carver in Terrace, BC. His, Mike, his name is Mike D'Angeli and he did this with help from his family. At the top of the totem pole is the matriarch figure. Uh, below that is the young woman in the red dress and the many different faces of many different people that are missing or murdered along this stretch of highway and at the bottom is the orca which symbolizes uh, the the orca clan of the Kitsa Kalam orca clan territory here. This beautiful totem pole was uh, put here as a memorial for the families and communities affected by these disappearances and murders but it also serves as a way a watch guard to make the highway a safe and sacred place and uh, it's a beautiful one. So it's a beautiful area, beautiful totem pole. I'm glad we took the time to stop and pay our respects here. So now it's time to let's get back on the highway again. On the next video, 
You're going to see us in Prince Rupert, BC. We're going to be taking an excursion to a grizzly bear reserve. And then we're going to cross the ferry over to Haida Gwaii.